Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb just published an analysis suggesting that three I atlas may have catastrophically exploded into at least 16 pieces, creating a cosmic fireworks display we're only just beginning to witness. This isn't speculation. The evidence is real, the data is quantifiable, and the consequences are staggering. Think about what that means. We could be tracking a piece of interstellar debris in real time, witnessing evidence of its disintegration captured by telescopes and space instruments. But that's where the official story starts to get complicated, because there's another possibility, one that raises even more troubling questions about the true nature of this visitor, and time is running out to figure out which story is right. Let me show you the proof. This story begins not with an explosion, but with a seemingly impossible discovery, an interstellar object recorded months before it reached perihelion. On July 1st, the Atlas Telescope System in Chile discovered three I Atlas, the third interstellar object ever observed by humans after one Ayumuamua, 2017, and 2i Borisov, 2019. The name 3i is not just a scientific notation, but also a symbol for a big question about the origin of life and intelligence in the universe. The appearance of 3i Atlas is extremely rare. The chances of finding even one such object are almost zero, and now we have three. And this time, the strangest thing is just beginning. By late August 2025, the James Webb Space Telescope had captured detailed infrared images that revealed 3I Atlas was surrounded by a giant cloud of carbon dioxide about 34,800 kilometers in diameter, roughly the distance from Earth to the Moon. However, spectroscopic data showed that its elemental composition was completely unusual. The iron-nickel ratio was out of the normal range for a comet, and its organic compounds did not fit any known chemical patterns. As 3I Atlas approached the Sun, the unthinkable happened. It sped up instead of slowing down due to gravity. Harvard data showed that its non-gravitational acceleration reached unprecedented levels. At perihelion, the object accelerated at a rate of 94 kilometers per day squared, far exceeding any physical calculation. Then it started to turn blue. Normally, comets glow yellow or white as dust reflects sunlight, but 3I Atlas emitted a spectrum of ionized metals like cobalt and titanium, materials that are rare in the interstellar medium. The conventional explanation is that this is simply cometary outgassing, as Halley and Neowise have shown. But the measurements don't match from early August to late October. 3I Atlas's mass loss rate increased from 330 kilograms per second to nearly 2 million kilograms per second, a 600-fold increase equivalent to vaporizing two skyscrapers every second. In early November 2025, Harvard physicist Avi Loeb published analysis showing that the energy emitted did not correspond to mass loss, suggesting another form of energy was at work. Some scientists began to theorize that 3I Atlas might not be a natural comet, but an ancient probe triggered by its proximity to a star. The blue light it emitted might not be a mere physical reflection, but the sign of an active artificial energy system. And that's what really worried scientists. Of course, there's no real evidence for that conspiracy theory, at least so far. But when the signal from 3I Atlas suddenly disappeared from James Webb's field of view in mid-November, leaving behind only a faint streak of light millions of miles long, people began to wonder, were we really seeing a comet? Or was there something else staring back at us? perihelion, the sun delivers a whopping 700 joules of energy per square meter per second to 3I Atlas. At this energy level, a natural comet would have to absorb almost all of the sun's light to sublimate enough carbon dioxide and water ice to produce the observed mass loss rate. But when Loeb analyzed the data, these numbers led to an apparent paradox. To achieve that outgassing rate, 3I Atlas would need to be about 14.3 kilometers in diameter, according to calculations, while the Hubble image taken on July 21st shows the nucleus to be just 1.2 kilometers wide. That means it is at least 16 times smaller than its energy needs. How could an object inflate that much in just three months without being detected? Loeb concluded that there was only one possibility. Comet 3, 
I Atlas had fragmented. He suggested that the comet could have broken into at least 16 equal pieces, each creating a surface area many times larger than the original nucleus, absorbing energy. Mathematics never lies, Loeb wrote, suggesting that this might not have been a natural event, but rather a purposeful process, as if the object itself had been fragmented to function more efficiently. On November 10th, Loeb published his findings confirming that 3i Atlas had disintegrated catastrophically at perihelion, creating the cosmic fireworks recorded by Webb and Hubble, but he also left behind a sentence that left scientists shuddering. This process may not have been entirely natural. Some astronomers believe it was simply an extreme physical reaction, but others point to the suspicious detail of the symmetric fragmentation pattern as if it were designed. And if that's true, then the explosion wasn't the end, but the beginning of something else. But that's where the story starts to fall apart. Not in the scientific sense, but in the sense that science is no longer in control. If 3i Atlas had simply broken up like a natural comet, we would expect to see a faint cloud of debris spreading out into space, carried away by solar winds. But that's not what's happening. Something else organized, structured, and purposeful is happening. And it was British astronomers who were the first to see it on November 9th, just 11 days after perihelion, two observers, Michael Bututner and Frank Nobling of the British Astronomical Association, BAA, took pictures that turned the theory on its head. These were not amateur images. They were processed using advanced spectroscopic analysis algorithms and compared with data from Hubble and James Webb. The results stunned scientists. 3i Atlas was not randomly decaying. It was building structures. The images show that the comet displayed an extremely rare phenomenon called an anti-tail, a bright streak of light pointing towards the sun. This defies all normal laws of physics. As a comet's tail always points away from the sun, Due to pressure and solar wind pushing material outward, anti-tails only appear when special conditions exist or when a force actively directs the direction of the radiation. But the shock didn't stop there. Butner and Nobling discovered not just one jet, but several separate ones, at least two of which pointed straight at the sun, stretching 950 kilometers, while the main jet stretched for more than 2.85 million kilometers, nearly twice the distance from Earth to the moon. These jets weren't scattered, but concentrated with a clear direction, like the fingerprints of a jet propulsion system. Subsequent images taken on November 8th by astrophotographers M. Jagger, G. Riemann, and E. Prosper make the situation even more incredible. In them, they recorded at least seven separate jets arranged in suspiciously symmetrical formations like a precisely controlled network of energy columns. All of them were directed to fixed coordinates on the ecliptic plane, almost impossible for a natural phenomenon. The images have sparked international debate. Some experts believe 3 I Atlas could be the remnants of an ancient mechanical structure still functioning after millions of years of interstellar travel. Others are more cautious, but also cannot explain why the jets are fired at regular intervals, as if there were an energy directing system. And it is from here that the secret space war between the superpowers begins to emerge. While NASA has been unusually quiet, the European Space Agency, ESA, has suddenly increased its observation activities. On the other hand, China and Russia have simultaneously deployed secret orbit tracking programs. Some leaked reports show that at least three military reconnaissance satellites have been repositioned to monitor the space around the 3i Atlas satellite. Many analysts believe that what should worry governments is not the existence of 3i Atlas, but its trajectory after fragmentation. One of the jet streams appears to be adjusting to move closer to Earth's orbit. If true, 3i Atlas is not only a scientific problem, but could also be the first challenge to human civilization. While the observatories remained silent, American and European radar detected a regularly repeating echo, as if someone was trying to send a message. Perhaps this was no longer an astronomical phenomenon, but a signal from deep interstellar space. Analyzing November images, Avi determined that 3i Atlas is losing about 50 billion tons of matter per month. 
To maintain this rate, the nucleus would have to be 510 kilometers in diameter if it were intact. But the data showed that it had split into 16 fragments, but the mass loss rate was still extremely high, something that is difficult to explain by natural mechanisms. Astronomers have suggested that comets can fragment due to thermal stress, as in the case of 73P slash Schwassmann Wachmann 2006 or NEOWISE. However, with 3I Atlas, the thermal model does not match sublimation should be slower, and the jet structure shows unusual organization, as if controlled. From there, Loeb raises a controversial hypothesis. If the natural laws of comets are not enough to explain, could 3I Atlas be man-made? The jets could be technological propulsion engines operating at high exhaust velocities, creating acceleration without much fuel. The November images show these jets are deliberately arranged, suggesting the possibility of directional control. Loeb, however, does not claim that 3I Atlas is a spacecraft. He frames the issue as a question, admitting both possibilities, natural fragmentation or artificial phenomena. Only future observations can determine which is true. Interstellar comet 3I Atlas is scheduled to make its closest approach to Earth on December 19th, just a few weeks away. Before that, the Hubble Space Telescope will conduct ultraviolet spectroscopic observations in November to determine the object's chemical composition and radiation structure. While the James Webb Space Telescope will continue observations in December after perihelion, these two campaigns are seen as pivotal in determining whether 3I Atlas is a natural comet or an object of unusual origin if the resulting images show separate fragments that would confirm a natural fragmentation process. But if an intact nucleus with ordered jets is found, it would be a finding that challenges current understandings of comet physics and the formation of matter in interstellar space. In observational history, 3I Atlas is considered to be between two notable precedents. In 2017, Oumuamua was discovered without any signs of outgassing or tail leading many to speculate about the possibility of artificial origin. In contrast, 2I slash Borisov, discovered in 2019, has all the characteristics of a classic comet, with strong outgassing activity and completely consistent with conventional physics models. 3I Atlas has the characteristics of a comet but exhibits a mass loss rate, acceleration, and jet structure that do not match any known natural phenomenon. Recent observations have also revealed a series of unusual phenomena, non-gravitational acceleration, spectral changes, precise fragmentation into 16 pieces, and the formation of organized tail jets. Each of these signs can be explained individually, but together they form an unnatural pattern. The data from Hubble, James Webb, and the European Space Agency orbiters have not yet been fully released, while some sources have suggested that parts of the data have been manipulated due to the unusual frequency signals from November 11th. When 3I Atlas re-emerges from behind the sun, the entire network of telescopes around the world will be focused on it, launching an interstellar observation campaign of unprecedented scale. This is a rare opportunity for humanity to directly observe a visitor from deep space and learn its true nature. Whatever the outcome, when Hubble and James Webb complete their measurements, the central question will be answered. Is 3I Atlas a natural comet destroyed by the sun or a man-made object with properties beyond our current understanding? The results of this journey could change the way we see the universe and perhaps ourselves. Imagine this, 3I Atlas was born in a distant star system billions of years ago, wandered in the darkness of space for millennia, and happened to pass through the solar system at the exact moment humans were able to discover and study it. The odds of that coincidence are as close to zero as a grain of sand, falling into a single spot in the middle of the ocean. As it approaches Earth, 3I Atlas is forcing scientists to confront two possibilities. Either this is a physical phenomenon never before seen, or reveals something beyond nature. Either way, the implications are profound. But time is running out. In January 2026, the object will fade and leave the solar system forever. The data collected over the next few weeks will be the only permanent record of this visitor. The central questions remain unanswered. 
Did three iatlas really fragment into 16 pieces? Did they move in a controlled manner? Will spectroscopy reveal familiar signs or something else? Does it belong to the Milky Way or did it come from further away? And most importantly, is there any evidence that this is not a natural comet? The answers will come when the data from Hubble and James Webb are released, deciding whether 3i Atlas is a natural phenomenon or the work of extraterrestrial intelligence. But what makes 3i Atlas special is not just the science, but the human emotion. Since time immemorial, we have looked up at the sky and wondered if there is anyone else out there. Now, for the first time, there is a real interstellar messenger, one that can be observed, measured, and verified. Every spectroscopic data, every orbital measurement tells the story of a distant world. 3i Atlas is more than just a comet. It is an interstellar visitor, carrying with it the mysteries of the universe. As we observe it in its final weeks before it disappears, we are seeking answers to the age-old question, what is out there? The debris, the jets, and the unusual accelerations are all real, and what creates them could change how humanity understands the universe and itself. If you want to follow this story as it unfolds, subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications. I will make follow-up videos as new data becomes available. Leave a comment below and let me know what do you think we will learn about this interstellar visitor. I read all the comments and I'm curious to know what you think.